All right, hello. Uh, there's been a couple of comments uh, related to Project 2 in terms of uh, searching the literature and finding references on ammonia synthesis. And so I just wanted to record a you know, quick little video demonstrating exactly how um, I would go about this. And so here I am on the library's website, um, so lib.miamioh.edu, but let me just, you know, lib.miamioh. And then the resource I typically use is I use Web of Science. So in the search, I'm just going to go to Web of Science. And then there's the core collection. There's just Web of Science as well. Um, I, I, to the best of my knowledge, they're both exactly the same. Um, but if I just click to connect to uh, the electronic resource, I'm brought to this uh, database search. Um, and as you see here, I, I just tested out ammonia synthesis, but for search, okay, if I were to type in, you, know, you can type in anything, so, okay, but if I search for ammonia synthesis, you get a number of hits, all right, and so you get a, you know, the first couple ones I took a look, look at it, they're, they're pretty good um, in terms of, and if you look, like, the years are pretty new, so here's 2019, 2023, in terms of, you know, recent research trends and exploring catalysts for ammonia synthesis, uh, photocatalytic ammonia synthesis, recent progress uh, and future, alternative strategies towards sustainable ammonia synthesis, All right? So this just, you know, describes something that's in the spirit of this project. Um, and then I, I looked at this industrial reactor one as well. And, you know, just if I want to look at any of them, okay, what I would do is, so they're, they're unlocked, right? So this unlocked suggests that, you know, we can, you know, access it via, via Miami. But I'm just going to click, you know, find it. Okay. Then the next screen, it can read it through Ohio Link or directly through Springer, who's the publisher. So I click, you know, get full text at Springer, and here it is. Um, so it's in an HTML format. If I wanted a PDF, right, I could download the the PDF. Um, but this one's pretty cool. It, it you know, and it here's a electrochemical ammonia synthesis, right? So hey, if you're going to uh, evaluate using um, an electrolysis process to uh, produce pure uh, hydrogen. Here you go. Now you can start to think about an electrochemical process now to um, produce ammonia. Right. So, yeah. So this is just me scrolling through it quickly. Um, but even pros and cons. Right. So, and, and this is going to be much better than than a Google search. So this is going to search through uh, the literature of you know refereed uh, journal articles. Um, this one, for example, too, I took a good look at uh, modeling and performance improvement of an industrial ammonia synthesis reactor. And so if I click find it on here, okay, again, I'll connect, I'll connect through Science Direct. And usually if Miami doesn't have access, um, they'll pre-fill in the, the information if you were to try and request it as, as well. Right? So here we have a you know peer-reviewed journal article. Um, and this one was interesting as well because it includes Right, so but you know, includes kinetic data, but includes um, this Gillespie and, and BD uh, equilibrium constant expression. Okay, and so again, you know, this is you know what I would do in terms of finding uh, information related to the project is this is Web of Science. So I'd go to lib.miamioh.edu. I bring up Me uh, Web of Science, so it's just it'll search through a database of uh, peer-reviewed references. Okay. Um, and so this is just ammonia synthesis. You get a number of hits. But if you wanted to try and look at, um, I don't know, let's see if I can search for like hydrogen uh, production. Okay. So if I were to search for hydrogen production, um, you know, I don't know, we'd have to look at this one, but, but maybe hydrogen production using current and emerging technology status and perspectives, right? So Let's see, All right? And there's even the next one: research advances towards large-scale solar hydrogen production from water. Okay, take it back. This one looks right in there with developing an electrolysis process. Um, okay, so now this one's actually a good one because we don't have access to it, uh, so we don't have access to it through Miami. We could try through Ohio Link, um, but then they also have the option to request, right? And so it says requests typically come in three to five days. Okay, so if I were to click on this. Okay, hope oh, I've got to log in. Okay, 
but then they'll have most of the information filled out already since it's through Web of Science. Okay, and you know if there's any additional details you want to add, um, but then if you just click Submit Request, um, the request will go to the uh, Miami Libraries, um, and they will obtain a digital copy. And you know just like the note said, you should receive it in uh, three to five days. You'll send an email that um, the materials you requested is available, and then you'll be able to download uh, an electronic copy of that that material. And so if you just start doing your research now, right, in advance, three to five days, right, you'll have it beginning of next week and, and you'll be all set. Okay, hydrogen supply chain, um, you know, let's see, let, this one was emerging technologies as well. So this one we can read through Science Direct. Okay, so peer-reviewed journal article. And, you know, there you have it. So... Hydrogen for future energy production. All right, and so this will give you a lot of background information. Um, yeah, but 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 there you go. So so things to think about, right? That's how I would um, search for references in terms of hydrogen production, nitrogen production, um, and so you know this is talking about new technologies. So it looks like there's conventional gasification of coal. Um, gasification of biomass, uh, steam methane reforming, okay, and so this is kind of that conventional process that they're talking about. Uh, gasification of biomass is, is kind of interesting um, in terms of being able to take waste material and uh, make a useful product out of it. But yeah, have a look at something like this, right, hopefully that helps, um, and look forward to seeing all the progress that you make on, on the project.